Hello friends, welcome to channel Techwind, this video is about how to check data usage in BSNL FTTH connection, before getting into the video, if you haven't subscribed our channel, click on the subscribe button, and also, click on the bell icon, for further updates. First, connect your laptop, or mobile, to the modem, with BSNL FTTH connection through Wi-Fi or LAN. You can't see this, through mobile data or other connections. Open a browser in laptop or mobile. Enter redirect1.bbportal.bsnl.co.in A website opens. Enter the username of your BSNL connection. To find the username, check the bill. When you scroll through the bill, document you will see a service ID with first three letters of the name followed by landline number followed by underscore SID. You've to add at ftth.bsnl.in, so, if your name is Krishna and your phone number is 123456, then your username will be kri123456 underscore at ftth.bsnl.in, enter this username, and the password is password. Now, click login. Remember, the website will log in only, if the internet connection is the same as the username. If not, it won't log in. Once logged in, you can see this home window, click, know your usage tab. And you can see the data. Used till today for the current billing period. Also, you can see the current plan also. There are other tabs such as upgrade, change password, FIOP history etc. You can upgrade your package if you have exhausted the data available. In my case, if I've used the 3300 GB, I can upgrade, and opt for extra data, by paying some extra amount for the current billing period. Don't change the password. Because, it'll cause disconnection in your internet, and you've to reconfigure the modem again. This is the same in Railwire also. Don't change internet password in Railwire billing site, if you don't know how to configure the modem. Also, you may have a doubt. If your default password of BSNL is password, then someone may access it and change the password right? But it can't happen. Because to login, the device have to be connected to your network, and for that, you have to allow them to use the LAN cable, or give them your Wi-Fi password. If this doesn't happen, then your account is safe. Thanks.